Okay, so I joined this uh, this Trish streamer, uh, Kendall Tommy, and so far, loving his build style. He's relatively new to the game. He's uh, he's trying it out. He's doing all the beginner mistakes. And I went ahead and I issued him a challenge. It's something that I don't usually do, but I figured, like, you know what? He seems like a really awesome lad. He seems like one of the plebs that I would love to have in our community. So I figured I'd give him a challenge, and the reward is going to be a CD key. I have a bunch of those things, and I really want to find a way to give them out. And I think this is a good way to reward new players, incentivize them to keep playing Factorio, because Factorio is such an awesome game. So the challenge right now is going to be that I want him to produce 210 iron plates and copper plates per minute. <laughs> when I uh, when I joined his stream, he was actually yeah like 18 a minute. So ultimately, he was he, he had like one furnace. It was uh, pretty hilarious. He's getting a little bit closer now. I think you know 210. I gave him an hour to do it. I think 210 in an hour is a relatively easy concept. But that's keeping in consideration you actually understand what's going on in the game. So he's new. I love his build style. So we we saw just a second ago that uh, his copper, he has an inserter that's putting it into a chest and then putting it back onto the belt, which is like all a mistake that we've all done at one point in our life. So let's go ahead and enjoy this content. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you want to see this more in the upcoming future. Also, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope everyone had some awesome holidays. Let's enjoy. Let's jump over this a bit. Perfect. Two per minute, crouching speed one. No units, I like it. Now these all go like so. Ooh, let's just move you. One, two, get to that. Perfect. Just like I planned it. Excuse me. I love this. He spent about an hour before, and he had maybe like three furnaces, and he was bragging that like you know automation was coming down, everything was looking awesome because he had said three furnaces. Now I've given him the challenge, right? He's about 12 to 14, maybe 15 minutes into the challenge right now. He already has, I think he's around like 10 stone furnaces. Half of them are already automated, so he has five at the bottom that are automated for iron. He's obviously going to have some issues when it comes to the iron ore production. I'm loving this. We lit a fire under him, and all of a sudden, you know, the Factorio spirit, Factorion himself, has inspired Kendo Tommy, and he is he is building, man. He is going with a more faster mentality. I love it. Yep, yep, that's fine. Yep. Timer off again. Let's check. One minute. I've got 88 copper per minute and 37 iron per minute so far. Let's climb up 99. No, that doesn't seem right. 109, 108, 109. Oh well, iron is the one I need to work on anyways. So I mean, so far he's actually doing pretty good. He's halfway through the challenge. Like he, if he can maintain his copper, and if he can maintain his iron, well actually, yeah, if he can maintain his iron, if he can feed his iron, he's pretty much there. So you know, the whole one hour uh, time allocation that I gave him might have been a little bit intense, but let's see what happens. Huh, it's faster inserted. Right after electronics. So let's check the power. Power's good. Research is going slowly, but that's okay. It's not okay. It's making me upset and sad. There we go. So I actually need more iron ore, it looks like. So. I could stick another one to speed things up. In fact, I will stick another one somewhere. But I need... always need iron. You never don't need iron in this game. Just... <laughs> when I joined up his stream initially, he was talking to me about how uh, he thought he was relatively good at the game until his friend joined up and started producing stuff. And uh, he had too much iron. Who the heck has too much iron in Factorio? That's blasphemy, man! And now he's complaining. He's like, oh well, we never have enough iron. I guess the tables have changed. And now that like we've lit a fire under him, all of a sudden he's realizing how automation is expensive and how many resources you need to actually get the base continuously going. I need a bunch more of those. As I learned in my engineering degree, that which can be done must be overdone. Oh, he's an engineer. Is he a mechanical engineer? Let's see. Let's see how I'm doing. 
I am not. Oh, excuse me. I am a biomedical engineer. But I'm still a student. I'm going for a PhD. So I know, you know, nothing, basically, is what that means. <laughs> Amen to that. Biomedical engineers are cool. It's a really fun degree. And I, I am fascinated by the human body. However, we turn into a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, master of none when it comes to engineering principles. So I'm okay at most things. Not the best. Nope. Oh. Repeat timer. Hit the P button. I'm in the 90s for my iron. 40s for my copper. You know, I'm starting to sweat here because, like, we're we're about like 15 minutes in, you know, and uh, I mean, he's rocking it, man. He he's doing really good. And I was, I was getting a little bit worried here. I'm like, maybe the challenge was too easy for him, but uh, I'm not sure now because you know he was at 90 copper earlier. Now he's dropped down to about like 40-ish. He plopped up his iron um, up to around 90, and previously it was maybe around the 40 mark. So you're really seeing the, the issues here with scaling up your automation, if not done properly. Yeah, I always loved, um, when I was younger, I saw a couple of movies that really set me down biomedical engineering instead of mechanical. Didn't you just say that, um, like, he's a jack of no trades? Probably would have been a... Uh, chemical engineer before mechanical though if I couldn't be biomedical <laughs> but it was all about um, the Incredible Hulk if you remember the really crappy version of it well it wasn't really crappy it just wasn't the best we'll call it um, it was the first Incredible Hulk movie and they had a scene where um, the Hulk got hit by a shrapnel <clears throat> you watch the wound heal like real time something about that scene just blew my mind as a kid so I always wanted to learn more about that and that kind of set me down the path of um, biomedical engineer although for a while I could have sworn I was going to be a doctor but I quickly learned that would have been a bad bad build that's actually a pretty cool backstory I could relate to that there we go Oh no! Back, no, the belt! Back. It's not properly placed! It's not doing what you want! Oh, he's if he doesn't realize that relatively soon, he's gonna have a hard time. There we go. Because he's gonna contaminate his belt and he's gonna have to go clear it. I'll just take you. And that's gonna be so much wasted time for him. Alright. Energy. I'm using a bit. That's fine. I have a bit to use. Starting to back up, but not super fast. I like it. Faster inserters have been made. An excess of four. Uh-oh. That's not good. Turn on the repeat. Hit the P button. Hit it to one minute. And I've got 114 copper. And about 110 copper and 130 iron. So I'm on the way. He's doing pretty good. Okay, you need He's like two-thirds of the way there. Oh, he fixed it. <laughs> oh, damn. I wish it would have contaminated him, just so that he feels there. like he knows the feeling of contaminated belts there. and how frustrating they can be. There. Okay, now we're in business. All that should go a little smoother now. This one can get all of this. You can hold all that. Probably should have the other way, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I still need to do a thing with it. I think our boy is going to make it, honestly. I think maybe half an hour into the challenge, so halfway through his time, I think he'll be able to achieve it. Let's make all these faster. No, not the fast inserters! There we go. Ah! New players do that all the time. It doesn't speed up the stone furnaces, though. They still take 3.5 seconds. Now, what is this hold up here? All right. Let's check the map. Pollution is looking a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking at the beginning of the of the stream when I joined up with him. And I was like, you know, your build style is so conservative and so minimalistic that I don't think you'll ever have to encounter the biters, you know. <laughs> and I showed him what alt mode is. Oh my god, how many new players don't know what alt mode is? 
It should be forced down your throat. It should be like the default, really. I mean, and and you could turn it off if you wanted to, but it just it feels like it should be enabled from the start. But anyway, I was joking around and I was saying that you know biters, you probably won't even have to deal with biters given how minimalistic your style is. Because the trees will go ahead and soak up all the pollution, and he's panicking, right? He keeps looking at the map. He was talking initially how he'd rather not have to deal with biters. Perfect. How am I doing with my numbers? Hundreds, so I just basically need to copy this once over. That should be good. So we will split. You know, I'm just noticing right now, but he doesn't actually have any bullets. Am I kind of a bad person if I'm secretly just wishing that there'd be at least one biter attack? I think that'd be perfect. I mean, you need that little flavor of biters. I mean, it, it just, it forces your build style. It makes you have to build defenses, have to, def like, automate your defenses. He needs to have that happen. I'm going to be disappointed if it doesn't. Wish I had admin powers right now, actually. Could go ahead and call in a nice little wave. I shouldn't have to punch stones. I'm building shit for this. Pleb. Stone mining is just so annoying. Okay, but first... Set up one, two, three, four, five, and I'll set up this side. Perfect. So, stone, just go into the bottom. Oh. Repeat timer. Hit the P button. Excuse me. Uh, one. 110 copper plate, 130 iron plate. And perfect. So I'm gonna split this and be really inefficient with it, but I love it. If it were efficient, it wouldn't be mine. <laughs> uh, inefficiency, no! Set it down this way. Oh, this is so stupid and I love it. <laughs> This game really makes me feel inadequate. So you're gonna go. Actually, I do this so I can get these back. Uh, more fast inserters. Why? So he's actually at the half an hour mark right now. I've just noticed this now. Um. Let's give him a little check. Let's just make him sweat a little bit here. The one need to rule them all. My yeah, I could fit a couple more, and I need make more of those. Well, need is a strong word. I would like to. All right, let's check. I'm looking at 133 or about 130 iron, 110 copper. I need to get the next set of. He really needs to put iron. more down. Like he really needs to complete those stone furnaces. Steady resources like going yeah be good ah, you're doing great man feeling the pressure but it's a, a fun pressure to feel <laughs> we're making him sweat very much so unlike a heart attack I actually don't know if I need more tech trees since I'm doing the brute force method instead of the clever method Doop. what does he define as I being the clever the method team. like Make that do a thing. Having it more modular and, and efficient? Uh, you know what? Go ahead and give me logistics too. Nope. Um, give me just optics. Yep, that will work. I'm going to actually make a really weird loop of... Um, I need more iron. Damn it. I always need more iron. I'm going to make a weird loop of going like under these and around and into that. I also need to make sure I'm not going to get myself murdered to death with pollution. In fact, I'm going to preemptively set up um, one of those. I'm going to funnel. There we go. I should be getting a metric booty load of copper 
In fact, a little too much of a metric booty load. There we go. Um, all right, one second, and I'll do the check. I think he's there. I think he has it. He's, I mean, he's running out of a little bit of iron ore, but I think he's good. Production over a minute. Oh, he's so close. Three. He's so close. 70, 169, 170-ish iron. Plus or minus squiggle. He's down, however, to his last, like, 20 minutes. He has 21 minutes on the clock left. I mean, he should be able to do it. But now he's running into ah. some minor problems, actually. Is now the bottleneck. Come on, this is like the last chance for that biter attack to come in. Come on. Uh, not making any mod stuff, so just military. don't let me down, biters. You screw me over in every run. Why can't you do this to him? Just in case it flirts with. Let's keep that going. I am getting close. I'm not sure if I can get past. There's going to be an inevitable like hump that I got to go. Copper, I just need to get this. Oh god. I need to get this connected. And then any more, I'm going to have to set up basically another one of these on either side. For iron, I need just more ore output. So I'll just make more out ore output. And we'll do it this way. Bit wasteful. That's fine. Perfect. And this comes up. You come. <laughs> but but why? Why is he why is he doing like, you know And feed in there. One belt balancers. You guys are gonna end up feeding in. Here. And he belt balances it again. But why? Relatively balanced out, maybe. <laughs> No, it's not. And let's see if that helps with the ore. How am I doing? I have 206 copper plates. So I need to up this a little. Map of pollution is still scaring me, but that's fine. I'm probably fine. Oh, look how close he is with those biters, though. Like, it's just about to trigger. And it's so close to triggering. Drill? What's my power like? I should probably think about adding more electricity to the mix. No, you're good. Just get that last little amount of smelting going. You're so close. You need, like, one more smelter for copper. And, like, well, you probably need a few more for iron. You can hold those, and you, my friend, can hold... No, actually, you should be fine. You should have enough. So what's your limitation here? Nothing. Getting more ammo. We'll see when we look at the production tab again. And I can... I asked him to go ahead and, and pop it up every five minutes, so we should see it shortly. Hey! Look, so he's making enough iron. The only issue... Iron. The only issue he has is not enough copper ore. So he just needs to get that going. Are we going to see the biters today? Come on, man, biters... <laughs> Why must you be the biggest letdown? One attack, that's all I want. Just one little attack. He's not defended from the north. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be surgical and everything. So I'm gonna make two of those. After I make five of those. He's actually at his 15 minute mark right now. I wanna do. What else did I think I'm doing? Oh, yeah. So I need one and two. What are you doing? You're fine on 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 iron ore. It's copper that you're having an issue with. Uh, Sir, you're fine on copper plates. Damn it, you're fine. Oh my god. I'm getting so caught up in the moment I can't even speak properly. He's so f he's fine on iron plates. He's just he's missing a bit of copper ore and then he's Gucci like he's good. He got this. You shouldn't be adding more stone furnaces for iron though. Ta -da. You're focusing on the wrong thing. Did he get confused? Is he like mixed up on what he needs? It's a never-ending cycle of needing stuff. In like, he's in his last 15 minutes here. He, he needs to get it pumped out. I'm thinking that my storage is... Not my storage is fine. You just need more production! Go. Just get the production for copper going, man! Like, you, all you need is the miners! I believe in you! You can do this! One goes there, one goes there. 
I am pretty close. I think I've passed it in my iron. So why are you adding more iron production? Passing. Copper, I need to pump out more just ore. I think I'll be good. Uh, we're going to turn this into a... There we go. Beautiful. Now I need more electricity sticks. Oh man, Factorion cries this day. That now. level of wet noodling, I just, I can't. It hurts. Give me your copper. This will probably stabilize the iron and make sure it stays above the threshold. It's important here to note that Stone Furnaces actually have an internal buffer of 100 plates. So he really didn't, doesn't need to focus too much on like his storage chest. As soon as these finish up, this should... Yeah, I mean, Saturate. you're maybe missing one stone first, and I think you're good. Quite. I think I need more. Ah, oh, so close! Did you see that 196? Like, one more stone furnace. That's all he needs. Should be close. I think he did it. He has 12 minutes on the clock, but I think he did it. Come on, biters. This is the time. Let's do it. Just one attack. I don't know. I forget. I think it was 230. I'll shoot for 260. I'll probably get 200. Then just be a disgrace to my family. It'll be great. Yeah, so I've, I'm close to hitting the 210. Uh, butterfly fart away. <laughs> you need, like, like he needs one more. One more stone furnace, and I think he's good. For the bottleneck is so. It's just one more. I'm done making all of my power sticks. Put bloop, blop. Is this working? Yeah, it's working. How am I doing? All right, got 220 copper and 260 iron. <sighs> Excuse me. Congrats, he's done it. He's like yawning because he's like, whatever. This was a joke. I could have totally done this. <sighs> GG Easy Nori. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and message him. I'll give him the CD key. He's earned it. I had a lot of fun. It was pretty close there. I was I was wondering if it was a little too easy, and then you know he started getting into all those bottlenecks that every new player gets into. Really disappointed that those biters didn't do a, a nice little showing. He was relatively well defended though, but it would have given him a little scare, and I think that would have been beautiful. I should automate a track for this, but eh. <laughs> yeah, because why would you want to automate in a game about automation? All right, double check. Per minute. He's stable. 40. Oh, dude, he did it. He 100% do it. If you enjoyed this video's content, please go ahead and take a look at our boy Kendo Tommy. Tell him the Coyote Con it sent you. Twitch.tv slash Kendo Tommy. Really great guy. Had a lot of fun. He definitely entertained me for a good 45 minutes straight. I didn't think I would get this out of him, but, you know, our boy pulled through. Which means I need to supply this with coal. He seems so uncertain now. Like, now he doesn't have a goal. The challenge is done. You know, he doesn't know what to do anymore. Like, what what do I do? You need to automate to the next step, man. So, I know I said I gave him a choice of three, but, I, you know, I really enjoyed this so much so that uh, I decided instead I'm going to go ahead and give him a choice of five. I think he just chose a game. I just, I didn't hear him. The, the... I've never heard of Titan Quest. I don't know what type of game that is. But the cereal cleaner looks pretty hysterically, overly, uh, overly gratuitously awesome. All right, it seems like you want cereal cleaner. Yeah, I think I think cereal cleaner is gonna be the one I'll I'll solid. I like that one. I'll, I'll snag cereal cleaner for me if you don't mind. Oh, well, definitely, dude. You earned it. Thank you again. You definitely did not have to. Uh... It was definitely it was a fun challenge. I liked it a lot.